boy. Oh, Mr. Downs! Sir, I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. A little patience is all I require. <laughs> we took your word. Now we'll take your hat. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money!
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. I need sleep. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I could make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay, leave it with me. I'll need you to go find me the right materials before I can make that. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Good job, Mr. Morgan. You sicken me. Now there's no need to be rude. Arthur. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, 
If you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Jose, you want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear, one of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God, but you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Let's get this on right, boy. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Are you going to mount up? Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> That turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. 
They're still very hot. Need to be done right. Have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Yeah, okay, boy. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Uh, he's all right. Yeah, that's it, boy. How you doing, friend? Stables are just up ahead. Good to see you back. All right, go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store, get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse, something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But, your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Partner, you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Are you going to mount that new horse of yours or not? You won't know till you get in the saddle. Easy, girl. You're okay. Hop on up there. Let's go. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. 
Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Loop around the other side. Yeah. Whoa. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Hey! Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. We try and shoot one. You don't want to eat. Anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up.
Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> <gasps> You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Just okay. mix it together. It's not Figure too hard. This done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. What's the hold up here? Clean this up. Let's go. 